Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Diego. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi Lorena. Hi, Gaby. How are you guys? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Everything. Bien, gracias, teacher. Everything's good. Excellent. Very good to hear you. Well, I'm okay. Thank you so much for asking, Diego. I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, welcome back to your English class, everybody. Congratulations to you because you are early as it should be, all right? Están justo a tiempo como debería de ser. Así que los felicito. <laughs> okay, welcome back to your English class, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you. Today is the last class of the week. So I hope you are ready to finish section four and then Maybe during the weekend you can start section five, all right? So let's check. Let's see what else do we have. We're still in the topic, broccoli is good for you. Today is class 12, right? Clase numero dos. Let's check. We have the adverbs of frequency, everybody, all right? These are the ones that we were practicing with yesterday. Um, I don't know if you remember, but These are the adverbs of frequency that we were using in yesterday's class. So today we are going to continue working with them. Estos son los adverbios de frecuencia que estuvimos utilizando ayer. Ahora vamos a continuar trabajando con ellos. Vamos a ver la estructura principal de ellos, right? Cómo se utilizan, cuándo se utilizan. Y claro está, también les voy a dar ejemplos para que luego ustedes puedan poner en, en práctica lo que han aprendido, right? So let's check. Algunos de ustedes pasaron ayer a decirme el vocabulary. Otros quizás no, así que let's see what else do we have in here. Solo para recordarles cómo se pronuncia cada uno de los percentage. We have 100% always, 80% usually, 70% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever and 0% never. All right. No nos olvidemos que no es percent, es, it's percent. Okay. Now let's start with Katia Canjura. Katia, léame los percentage en los adverse of frequency, please. 100% always. 80% usually, 7% often, uh, 50% son, sometimes, uh, 25% hardly ever, y 0% never. Excellent. Thank you, Excellent. Katia. Thank you, Katia. Okay, there you go. Let's go with another one. Vamos con otra persona que nos participe. Let's see. Let's have Damaris Isabel, please. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Um, I'm a um, person always. Um, <laughs> 80, 80%, 80%, 80% usually, uh -huh. um, 70% often, um, 50% hardly ever, and uh, uh, 25% sometimes? Sometimes, so, <laughs> Y 25, however, y 0%, never. Excellent, thank you. All right, let's check you guys. The purpose of having this vocabulary, once again, el propósito de ponerles de nuevo este vocabulary que usted ya lo vio ayer, all right, lo estoy viendo ahora, es para ver cómo va usted con la fluency, right? Eh, ¿Qué tanta fluidez tiene ahora para expresar los percentage? para expresar los adverbs of frequency. Porque el propósito no es que usted solamente en la clase pueda practicar, sino que durante el día tal vez dedicarle unos 10 minutitos cuando ustedes están trabajando en la plataforma a prestar la atención a las pronunciations. Now, let's check. Let's move on. 
tenemos un poquito eh, cargada esta PowerPoint presentation for today's class, para esta clase, ¿ok? Guiding structure. Let's listen to Diego, please. Diego, read the guiding structure, please. Okay, teacher. Um, subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Right. Let me see this. There you go. Primero utilicen sus subjects. All right. Ya ustedes tienen bien clarito cuáles son sus subjects. I, you, we, she, they. O puede cambiarlo por un noun. All right. Y no hay ningún problema. Luego utilicen un adverbio frequency de los que ya aprendieron, que ya se los pueden, de los que vimos ayer y ahora. Luego utilicen un verb, right? Para que su oración tenga sentido, you need an action, necesita una acción. And the rest is complement. Now, let's check. What do you mean, teacher, right? Aún viendo la estructura, pues, no me queda el 100% claro, teacher. Ya vamos a pasar a la siguiente lámina, solo me dicen finish, si ya terminaron de copiar la estructura, please. Finish. 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 Excellent. No, no, no. No, no. Okay. Take your time, my friend. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Gracias. Excellent. Very good. And now we have the guiding examples. I'm going to read them first. Yo lo voy a leer primero y luego van ustedes. Eh, van a notar algo extraño en el ejemplo número dos, right? Let's go with this one. I always have lunch with my mother at noon. I sometimes eat dinner. Or sometimes I eat dinner. Or I eat dinner sometimes. What's special about number two? ¿Qué hay de especial en la oración número dos? Well, my friends, sometimes. Sometimes is the special, all right, over there. La palabra sometimes, pueden ponerla, es decir, el adverbio sometimes, que significa algunas veces, pueden localizarlo o ponerlo, básicamente, después del sujeto o al principio de la oración, antes del sujeto, o inclusive, si usted después de todo su complemento agrega una coma, puede utilizar el sometimes. Sometimes es la única excepción que tenemos en los adverbs of frequency. De ahí todos los demás van después del subject. ¿Ok? Es precisamente por eso que la estructura les dice subject plus adverb of frequency. The only exception, I repeat, the only exception is sometimes. Then you don't have anything else. Después de esa, no tenemos otra excepción. Right? En cuanto al placement of adverbs of frequency. En cuanto a el lugar donde vamos a colocar el adverbio de frecuencia. Let's have Maybelline, Cisneros. Let's see. Can you read number one and number two, please? Okay. Guiding example. I always have lunch with my mother at noon. I sometimes eat dinner or sometimes I eat dinner or I eat dinner sometime. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's listen to uh, Catherine Cativo. Please read again the sentences. Lea de regreso las oraciones, por favor. One, I, I always have lunch with my mother at noon. Two, I sometimes eat dinner or sometimes I eat dinner or I eat dinner sometimes. Excellent, thank you. All right, there you go. You have very clear the examples. Ya tenemos bien claro los ejemplos. Let's move on. Vamos a ver las instructions y luego yo les voy a dejar de regreso esta, esta lámina, ¿ok? Let me see. Practice time. Kenia Corbera, please, can you read the instructions? One, work individually. Como dijo teacher, disculpe. Ah, que si me lee las instrucciones, please. Can ah, okay, you okay, okay. Okay, practice time. Uh, work individually. 
a creed to sentence using adverbs of frequency. Share your sentence with the class. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. Two sentences using two sentences. Sorry. All right. Esa S de plurales tienen que sonar. Two sentences using adverbs of frequency, everybody. You got a lot of time, right? You have a lot of time to work. Tenemos eh, bastante tiempo para que puedan trabajar en esto. Obviamente no nos vamos a tardar toda la clase en hacer todas las oraciones, pero sí, take your time, right? Tómese su tiempo. Si quiere, do, if you want, you can do a research over there, right? Pero sí quiero escuchar esas dos sentences. I can use an, another. You scare me. <laughs> me asustó. Do I? You, I was drinking water. Oh, okay. Right, that's the thing. Uh -huh. so I can say, if I can say, no, if I'm going to say, uh, I usually take my breakfast with my family. There you go, sir. Ahí vamos bien. Excelente. Mm -hmm. All right. Haga otra, Marlon. Okay. Do not stay only with that one. No sé qué es solo con esa. No, no, no. Have you finished, my dear students? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, let's start listening to some of you. Finish let's me. Start with, excellent, very good, Lorena. Let's go with Karen Escalante, after Karen, um, Diego, and after Diego, Lorena. Action, Karen. I usually get up at 4.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. I never eat. Be, I never eat I sorry did you <laughs> I hardly ever go to the beach I hardly ever go to the beach yes very good Karen yes. excellent sentences by the way let's go with you I hardly hardly ever watch TV and I always play guitar I don't believe you <laughs> Mentiras. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't believe no, you're watching TV. No me, no me gusta ver televisión. Yeah, it's true. I'm still believing that I'm paying and I'm not using it. <laughs> All, <laughs> right. 
Very good, Diego. Excellent. Let's go with Lorena. Okay. I never drink coffee for dinner. I always drink coffee for breakfast. Really, Lorena, you don't drink coffee for dinner. Okay. Solo dos dijo teacher. Qué pecado. Sí, está bien, qué pecado. Lorena. Solo me sorprendió que no tomara café en la noche. <laughs> ya me hace daño, Miss. Por eso lo dije. Ah. Ah, oh, okay, very good. Yeah, in that case, it's okay. Very good, Lorena. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go with. Um, let's go with. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Samuel Flores, please. I sometimes eat lunch. I always eat dinner. Uh -huh. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Samuel. Let's go with Gaby Molina, please. Yes, teacher. I always walk for the park. He never listens the mute, the music. He never listens to music. All right, to music, Seria. To music. Uh -huh. All right, Gaby, Seria, always or always? Always. Mm. Always. Always. Ajá, exactly. Remember, we don't mention the L. No mencionamos la L. Very good, Gaby. Excellent sentences. Let's go with Kenya Corvera, please. And after Kenya, Jonathan Burgos. Okay. I usually play soccer in the afternoon. Uh, I always uh, eat tortilla, tortillas at noon. Mm -hmm. Very good, Kenya. Excellent. Let's listen to Jonathan. Uh, I always play, no sé si aquí lo voy a decir al revés o no sé si está bien, console game o game console. Ah, game con, no, I always, utilizo always, ¿verdad? Sí. I always play video games. Video games. Uh -huh. I sometimes drink coffee. I sometimes drink coffee. Very good. Excellent, Jonathan. Let's go with the next one. Let's see. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Diego. That's real life. <laughs> let's see. Let's go with Maybelline Cisneros. And before the Maybelline, Iria Katia Kamura. Action, Maybelline. Okay. I sometimes play basketball in my work. Uh, we usually have two hours for to practice a sport at work. Ah, all right. Uh, quítale el for, solo déjale to practice. No, to practice. Okay. Hey, very good, Maybelline. Excellent sentences. Okay. Me gusta, everybody, me encanta cuando no se quedan cortitos con las oraciones. Que I usually drink water. <laughs> all right. No, sino que expresen un poco más de information and sentences. Eso no solo ayuda a mejorar el ambiente de la clase, sino que también los ayuda a mejorar a ustedes, porque están utilizando más vocabulary. Let's go with Katia, please. I always have late breakfast with my husband. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I always have breakfast late on Sunday. Excellent. Repeat after me, Katia. Repeat after me, Katia. Husband. Husband. ¿Cómo? Husband. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Eh, la H, yo creo que a ustedes no les he contado, right? La H in, in Spanish, we don't have a sound for H. No suena la H, right? Eh, <laughs> pero in English, it does sound, right? So it's husband. Let's go with, como la palabra have, no decimos up, es hot. Let's go with the next one. Fanny Marlene and after Fanny, Carla. Action Fanny. And sometimes I go for a run the morning. And sometimes I watch new TV. 
Uh -huh, all right, very good, excellent, Fanny. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Carla. I always drink coffee in the morning. <clears throat> I usually go to the field on weekends to watch the game. All right, excellent. Very good, Carla. You are from my team. <laughs> Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente, eh, Marlon. Usted todavía me debe una sentence. Y nos falta también Catherine. Catherine Cativo. Okay, action, Marlon. I always eat uh, um, cereal with me, with milk um, in the morning. Uh -huh. I I sometimes drink coffee in the morning. Okay, very good. And when you don't when when you don't drink coffee, what do you drink? Uh exactly what? I don't know. No is no is I don't like. But I don't know. So I think that is very how do you say as you? Sour. Uh, it's very sour um, about me in the morning. Mm. So in the afternoon. It's sour the, to me. In the, I'm sorry? It's sour to me. Okay. It's, it's sour to me. Mm -hmm. But in the evening, so maybe I can take or drink, uh, drink coffee with, oh. with pan dulce. <laughs> with sweet bread. <laughs> All right, excellent. Let's go with next one, Catherine. Action, Catherine. I usually drink coffee for breakfast. I hardly ever watch TV in the morning. I hardly ever watch TV in the morning. Excellent, very good. Now, let's check, and uh, you already have finished this practice, let's go with the next one. ¿Qué hay de preguntas, teacher? ¿Podemos utilizar los adverbs of frequency? Let's check the structure. Do, recuerden que no se pronuncia do o does, sino que es do or does plus subject plus ever plus verb plus complement plus question mark, right? En este caso, nuestro único adverb of frequency va a ser ever. All right, let's check. Eh, ya vamos a ver unos examples para que nos guiemos mejor y luego the practice time. Let's listen to, vamos a pedirle a Karen Escalante que nos lea la estructura, please. Once again. Do or does plus subject plus ever plus verb plus complement. Ajá, plus. Question ¿Mm? mark. Ah, question mark. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Let's listen to Gabby. Please tell me the structure once again. The do or does plus subject plus ever plus verb plus complement plus question. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Now. Have you finished taking notes about this structure? Terminamos de copiar esta estructura? With me. Okay. Let's wait for everyone to finish. Finish. Very good, just give me one second. All right, now let's move on everybody. I was fixing my chair. De repente, ahí si me ve moviéndome porque estaba arreglando mi sillita. Okay, now let's check. Guiding examples. Como siempre, los ejemplos que necesitamos para poder guiar. Do you ever have pasta for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. All right. Ya tienen la estructura. Ahora este es el examen. 
Let's listen to Marlon, please. Uh, tell me the question and the answers, please. Do you ever have a fast for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Thank you. Let's listen to the Maris. Isabel, please read again the example. Okay. Do you ever have a step for breakfast? Yes. I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's check. Uh, teacher, can we only use do you in questions? Let's check. Guide an example, right? Guide an example. This one, dos. <clears throat> Let's see. Does Alejandra ever have dinner at night? Does he ever eat pizza for lunch? All right. Let's listen to Lorena. Lorena, read number one, Samuel Flores, number two. Okay. One. Does Alejandra ever have dinner at night? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lorena. Samuel, number two. Does he ever eat pizza for lunch? Excellent. Thank you. Now, I don't know if you're taking notes of these examples. If not, I move on. Bueno, voy a moverlo de todas maneras porque vamos a la practice time y después se lo voy a poner de regreso. Practice time. Let me hear. Fanny, read the instructions, please. Okay. Practice time. Work individually. Create two. To create two question using auxiliaries do or does. Three. Compare your question with the class. Excellent, thank you. What does that mean? Thank you, Fanny. All right, ¿qué significa esto? Ustedes van a crear las eh, two questions, las dos preguntas, y como siempre van a pasar a exponerlas, all right? O sea, a decirlas. Now, let's work on it. You have plenty of time, so do not worry about it right now.
Now, have you finished, my dear students? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see you. No, I can't see you right now, your examples. Let me hear your examples. Really? <laughs> For sure. Do you, do you ever eat pizza at night? No. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah, that's she, correct. That she ever uh, drink one beer and the if in the afternoon. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah. Those are the, those questions are correct, sir. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más que ya finalizó? Me. Ajá. Uh -huh. Who is me? Karen. <laughs> ah, Karen. Yes. Action. Tell me. Do you ever eat two tortillas for lunch? <laughs> is that a question or are you criticizing? <laughs> <laughs> And the other one is, does Maria ever go to the supermarket on Sundays? Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Yo no sabía si estaba criticando o era el ejercicio. Very good, Karen. Excellent. Somebody else? No siento un sondeo porque voy a vender tortillas. Ah, bueno. Ah, pues sí, 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 Karen. <laughs> un sondeo. Let me hear somebody else. ¿Alguien más? Sí. Ah, ¿Quién es otro mí? Sí. Ah, Diego. Very good, Diego. Después de Diego, Damaris. ¿Qué okay, action do? Ok. Do you ever have pupusas for lunch? Okay. And the other... <laughs> and the other... Uh, does, does she ever drink beer for breakfast? Ah, very good. Question. <laughs> Excellent. Clever. Let's go with the Maris. Okay, does, does Martin ever exercise in the evening? Um, do your parents always to um, always go to church on the Sunday? Very good. Hey, the Maris, excellent. Me encantó que utilizó correctamente el do con parents. Mucha gente eh, suele equivocarse porque piensan que está en plural, pueden utilizar el das, pero no, está correcto como usted lo utilizó, porque eh, parents equivale a they, all right? Entonces, tiene que ser un do. Very good, Damaris. Another one? Yo. Katia, excelente, Katia. Katia. Does she ever have driving a car? Do you ever have try Mexican food? Okay, does okay. she ever drive a car? Does she ever drive a car? Does she ever drive a car? All right. Does she ever drive a car? All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go with the next one. Linda. Linda Catherine. Qué bonito ese nombre, porque le estoy diciendo Linda y Catherine. Gracias. Action. Do you ever, do you ever take a shower at night? Does she ever eat sugar in the diet? In the diet. Diet. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, Catherine. Solo preguntas este, bien, bien rebuscadas. Escucha, right? como que quieren saber información. Very good. Um, let's listen to somebody else. What about Gaby o Lorena? Ah, vamos con Gaby y después con Lorena. Ok. Does Patty ever visit her friends? Uh -huh. Does Ellie ever cooks chicken? Wow, yes, Gaby, excellent, excellent questions. Let's go. Y me gustó que utilizó otros nouns. No se quedó solo con el he or she, sino que los hizo 
ya con otros nouns. Let's listen to Loren. She does. She does hair spray. She does? She does hair styles. Hmm. No, no le entiendo esa última palabra, Lorena, disculpe. Hairstyles, hair como ella hace peinados, no sé cómo pronunciarlo. Ah, hairstyles. Hairstyle. Uh -huh. Ella hace peinados. Hairstyles. Hairstyles. Le voy a anotar, mil gracias. Yes, yes. Do, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Mm, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Very good. Esperemos que no, Lorena. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Let's go with the next one. What about Samuel? Ajá, Samuel, deme, déjeme escuchar sus questions. Does your, does your mother cook? Mm -hmm. And does your, does your hate drink a lot of milk? Of milk. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, Samuel. Thank you. Miren, lo que yo he estado notando es el, la posición donde usted, valga la redundancia, ponen el, el subject, ponen el auxiliary, y ponen el ever, y hasta ahorita no he notado alguna que tenga que cambiarse. All right. Estamos muy bien en ese sentido. Vamos con Maybelline. No sé si Maybelline, si usted ya pasó. No, ahorita. Okay, excellent. Do you have Sunday to enjoy with your friend? And does she like to drink coffee or a smoothie? All right. Very good, Maybelline. That's correct. Thank okay. you. Let's go with Kenya. Kenya Corvera, please. Okay. Does Charlie ever drink meal up morning? Does Rose ever eat fish at night? Very good, excellent, Kenya. Um, let me see. Yo le pondría in the morning en vez de at the morning, all right? But you decide. Let's go with Fanny. Después de Fanny, Carla Melissa. Do you ever go for a room in the morning? Um, does he like eat pupusas and chocolate drink? Does he like to eat pupusas and chocolate? Yeah, it's okay. Very good, funny. Let's go with Carla. Does he ever go to the party on the weekend? <clears throat> does does she ever leave the house? I like that one. Does she ever leave the house? Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Jonathan Burgos. Yes. Uh, does does Marcos ever head cooking at night? Uh, does she ever eat bread on morning? In the morning. Oh, in the morning. Ah, uh, vaya, pero la primera vez la copió Jonathan. <laughs> Dinner at night. Sorry, Sorry. <laughs> yo sé como que no me di cuenta, pero mi cara con su título. <laughs> es que es que pensé que no se iba a dar cuenta, Pichel, lo siento. Ah, qué barbaridad, no. Ya vamos a traer ahí curso y todavía no me conocen. Qué barbaridad. Now, everybody, excellent job. Very good. No, espera, me hace falta alguien aquí, creo yo. Silvia, Silvia Flores. Share your questions, please. Uh, uh, do you want to go to the movie toy? Does ah, your sister have Silvia. a pink shirt? Ok, Silvia, creo que usted no, quizás no estaba todavía cuando vimos la estructura. All right? Porque estamos haciendo preguntas con el ever. Mm. Sí, no estuve. Ok. 
there you go. Now let's move on everybody. Adverse of frequency. Practice time for you, all right? Por si no fue suficiente hacer sentences or questions, um, hagamos ejercicios. Let's see. Rewrite the complete sentence using the adverb in brackets in its correct position. O sea, usted va a escribir de regreso o a reescribir eh, la respuesta correcta utilizando los adverbios que están en los... Eso no son brackets, estas son paréntesis, all right? Entonces, eh, let's please work on this one. For example, he listens to the radio. Ah, he often listens to the radio, all right? Let's work on that one, please. I'm gonna ask everybody in this classroom. Todos tienen que tenerlas porque a todos les voy a preguntar, okay? And I want the complete sentences. Y quiero que tengan las sentences en sus cuadernos porque luego lo voy a cambiar. And it won't be any other way. All right. Everybody, please remember that with sometimes you can play a little bit better, right? Con el sometimes podemos jugar un poquito más. Pueden posicionarla después del subject, um, antes del subject, o después de una coma, después de todo el complemento, todo lo que ve, right? You can use it that way.
I'm done. All right, excellent. Yeah, I was just about to call you up, everybody. Let's listen to Jonathan. How would it be number two? Que yo la uno ya se las di que decía he often listens to the radio. Pero la número dos. Let's listen to Jonathan Burgos. Um, they sometimes read a book. Uh -huh. They sometimes read a book, right? También puede ser, ¿qué otra manera la podemos hacer, Samuel? La número dos. Ya Jonathan dijo, they sometimes read a book. ¿Otra manera, Samuel? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Mm -hmm. That's not a valid answer. La respuesta, la respuesta no es válida. Let's see, Gaby. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher, they read a book sometimes. Ajá, uh -huh, they read a book sometimes. Después de read a book, le agregan una comita y ponen something. Hay otra manera todavía más fácil de hacerla. ¿Cuál sería? They read sometimes a book. Vaya, pero esa es la que dijo Jonathan. Ya dijeron no eso. No ah. dijo él, they sometimes read. Ah, sí, ¿usted qué dijo? <laughs> Yo dije, no, 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 Gaby, él dijo esa que usted dijo. They sometimes read a book. No, yo, yo dije, they sometimes, they sometimes. Ajá, vaya esa. Y yo dije, they read, read, sometimes. Ajá, they read, no, no. La no. otra que yo les decía, everybody, es posicionar en sometimes. They... La, la otra no sería, sometimes, sometimes they read a book. They read a book. Ajá, exactly, very good. A tres personas me alcanza a escuchar eso. La voz de Carlita, porque la voz de, la Car de Carlita se, se, se entiende quién es Carlita ahí, ¿verdad? Let's see, pero es correcto, Carlita. Eh, sometimes they read a book. All right. Very good, everybody. Let's go with number three. Me encanta. Eso quiero que, que lo manejen bien, all right? El sometimes es la única variation that we have in adverse of frequency. Es la única variación que tenemos, es decir, lo colocamos antes de toda la sentence o antes del sujeto o después del sujeto o inclusive después del complemento. No problem. Claro está, si lo vamos a poner después del complement, tiene que llevar una coma. Let's go with Lorena Álvarez, number three. Pete. La tres, ¿verdad? Yes. Peter gets, gets never angry. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Lorena. Karen, number three. ¿Cómo sería la número tres? Number three. Pet never gets angry. Excellent, very good. No nos olvidemos, everybody. En la única excepción es el sometimes. Ahí con todos los demás. Lo primero que van a hacer es localizar su sujeto y después del sujeto agregan el adverb of frequency. Marlon Escalante, number four. Tom. Tom, usually. No, no, no. Tom. Ah, yeah, is... yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Tom <laughs> usually is very friendly. Yes, exactly. All right. Tom usually is very friendly. All right. Very good, Marlon. And let's go Me? with yes, okay. Lorena. Mm, segunda oportunidad para Samuel. Para Samuel, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank Very you. Good. <laughs> let me hear you, Samuel. Uh, let me check. Porque número vamos por la five, right? Okay, Samuel. I take. I take um, sugar sometime in my coffee. Okay, I take sugar in my coffee, coma, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh -huh, exactly. Recuerde, Samuel, que lo puede poner al principio de todo. Usted puede decir, sometimes I take sugar in my coffee. O, ¿qué otra manera, Samuel? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's go on everybody. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, exactly. 
I sometimes, o sometimes I, o termino toda la oración, agrego una coma y ya digo sometimes. Very good, excellent. Esas tres tenemos que manejarlas, everybody. Let's go with um, Kenia Corvera, please, number seven. Ramón. El micrófono que okay. ok. No me había fijado, tenía apagado. Sí, por eso les digo a veces, este... porque imagino que eso. Sí. Sorry, teacher. Este, Ramón Frank, eh, often or hung. Excelente, very good. Escucho, es que tengo un, pro, un poquito de problema con la conexión. Ya, yeah, don't worry, pero sí le escuché bien, Kenia, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Ramón y Frank often are hungry, ¿right? Okay. Y aquí no hay donde confundirse, continuamos teniendo eh, two subjects in here, que equivale a uno solo, ¿right? Que sería they. Entonces, seguimos con la misma structure. No cambia, no varía, no se altera. Vamos con Diego, number eight. Y luego Blanca Hernández, number nine. Action, Diego. Your microphone. Sí, la siguiente que había, me sacó de la reunión es la de Walter. Uh, no, my grandmother. Um, My grandmother always goes for a walk in the evening. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. My grandmother always goes for a walk in the evening. Excellent, Diego. Let's go with the following one, Blanca. Walter. Your microphone, Blanca. <clears throat> okay, Fanny, Asensio, Walter. Walter usually helps his father in the kitchen. Excellent, very good. Carla Melissa, they. They never watch TV in the afternoon. Excellent, very good. Katia Kanjura, Christine. Christine never smokes, no, no sé cómo se dice. Yes, never smokes. Very good, everybody. Excellent. Los felicito, everyone, all right? Hicieron un excelente trabajo con estas sentences. En, en teoría, ya conociendo la estructura, esto tuvo que haber, ser bien, haber sido bien fácil para ustedes saber que después del sujeto iban a colocar el adverbio frequency. Easy, easy peasy, right? Ahora bien, la única donde fue tricky fue donde se utilizaron el something, right? Porque podía variar. Now, leo para ustedes y después ustedes leen para el resto de la clase. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are found, oh no, tangerines are round, round foods and, and begin again like years, right? Estas son como cosas especiales dependiendo de cada país, right? Like traditions. It is a Jewish, Jewish, right? Judío, Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year, right? Son tradiciones que se llevan a cabo para final de año, para año nuevo, perdón, right? Like some people eat grapes in here in El Salvador, so they do these things. Greeks eat vasilopira bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find a coin for luck and money in the new year, All right? Mientras los Chinese people eh, comen tangerines porque... Eh, tienen forma redonda y eso significa que la vida pues tiene un comienzo y un final, como los años. Entonces, 
esa es la tradición de ellos. Los judíos pues, comen manzana con, con miel para un dulce nuevo año. Right? Y los griegos comen basilopira con una moneda adentro para desear tener dinero en el future. I got them. <laughs> Now let's listen to, vamos con Gaby. Gaby, leando el primer parágrafo, Karen Escalante el segundo y Lorena Álvarez el tercero. Action. Sunshine's people eat trangering. Trangering are wrong, wrong food and, and they again last years. Okay, repeat after me, Chinese. Chinese. Uh -huh. Chinese people. People. Chinese. Uh -huh. people. Y sería tangerines. Tangerines. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Let's go with Karen. How do you say who this? Jewish. Jewish. Okay. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Excellent, thank you, Lorena. Ricks. Gris eats basilopita. Basilopita. Bread with a cone inside. Everyone uh, tries, tries to find. Find, tries to find. Tries to define. Mm -hmm. The coin for look, 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 and money in the new year. Excellent. Thank you, Lorena. All right. So they try Excellent. to look for money. All right. To look. Sorry. Ya me equivoqué. They try to, to find the coin. <laughs> they try to find, to find the coin for luck. Luck. Yeah. Suerte. Okay. Look and mirar. <laughs> Now, everybody, let's move on to the next one. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes for strength in the New Year. Some Americans from Southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. All right, they are very specific with their traditions. Eh, podemos ver con estos readings que la gente es bien específica con sus tradiciones, all right? Now let's listen to paragraph number one. Vamos a escuchar el primer párrafo. Eh, Let me see. Samuel, please. Y con eso vamos a finalizar. Action, Samuel. In Spain. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat in 12, 12 grapes at mid, midnight. Maiden night on New Year's. Every, every one grab, grab it for drink. ¿Cómo? Great. Great. Good. Look in the age month of the New Year. Excellent. Thank you, Sam. All right, everybody. On Monday, estos párrafos tienen que ser más fácil para ustedes poder decirlos el lunes, ¿ok? Recuerden, New Year's Eve y luck, all right? All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today's class. And I will see you on Monday. Bye. Take care. Have a great night. Thank you, Miss. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings Have for you, too.